Right, let's make some butter. <coughs> now, uh, a few weeks ago I had a go at making butter because uh, I'd seen some videos uh, on YouTube that people have actually done it and I sort of had my doubts whether it was possible well guess what it is <laughs> but there is a kind of a trick to it if you want to keep it uh, in the fridge or freeze it um, you don't just like as you'll see blend it or shake it or whatever and then wrap it and stick it in the fridge you've got to get the, the buttermilk sorry out of it um, there's many methods you can do that um, I don't have any cheesecloth on me at the moment, so that's the cat. <laughs> Silly cat. Um, that's another good method. Um, but I use, I did it with, uh, uh, just by squeezing it and washing it, squeezing it and washing it and worked fine. So I was able to get most of the buttermilk out. So let's get cracking. Let's make butter. Now for this, you're going to need one of these. And some nice sharp blades on it. This is my little ninja, and it is a freaking awesome tool. That's the lid that goes on, and there's its motor. So that that sits on there. Like, uh -huh. That fits on there, and. Uh, Now I'm just using, uh, there you go, I'm just using fresh cream, this home brand, it's all made by the same company, as we now know, oh give it a shake, you got to keep it chilled, that's the other secret, so give it a bit of a shake, just to um, get the contents off the side of it. Oh, there's a bit of a check this. One moment, please. Right, so you just pour your cream straight in here. Like that. And that's all there is to that. <coughs> Let me grab our lid. And pop the lid on. Make sure it's on there. Nice and tight. And there we go. There's my little ninja. Ninja. Oh yeah. Right. Now. <coughs> here is what we do. We start blitzing this. Starting to labour. There we go. Ooh. There we go. There you see the buttermilk. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, definitely coming into butter now. Oh, yeah. 
Right, well, let's have a look in here then. Look at that. <coughs> Butter. Made from cream. I did see a tip that the longer you leave it in the freezer, the uh, fridge, the better it will turn out. Um, so we'll get this out of here. Right, so what we do now is we wash it and we'll squish it together like this um, and then squeeze all the, all the buttermilk out of it. And just do that over in the sieve. <coughs> now you've got to use cold water, it says to use ice. Cold water, but I just use, we've got ground water here, so it's pretty cold. Cold enough to do what I want here, anyway. And that's pretty much running clear. I'm happy with that. Alright. There we go. So that's all you do, really. And then there's your, there's your butter. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just roll it in there. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Butter. And you can stick that in the fridge, in the freezer, and it's ready to go. There we go. You're thinking about the butter. You're probably thinking, oh, but it's just it's cheaper to go and buy a pound of butter. Well, uh, if you're using butter to butter, butter, well, <laughs> If you're using butter to spread on bread for sandwiches, um, yeah, it would be cheaper to probably go and buy because uh, you'd need two of those if you were having sandwiches every day. You'd need you'd, you'd, you'd need two of those uh, to make enough to be able to have on your sandwiches as well as cooking and stuff like that. But if you're like me who don't eat butter on bread, then that is a far cheaper option because it was only three, that 500 milliliters of cream was uh, three, 398, I think, or three, three dollars something, anyway, I can't, can't quite remember. I'd have to go and have a look. <clears throat> and uh, so, and I just, all I use butter for is cooking. So, and the last one I made lasted well over a week. Uh, at the moment, the current cost of butter, they're trying to special it under five, uh, sorry, under, yeah, under, trying to get it under five dollars again, but they won't because of the greedy corporates, oh sorry, corporate. Anyway, um, that's another matter. Uh, yeah, so it is a far cheaper option. Um, in some places you can pay over seven dollars for a, um, a pound of butter. Well, it's not a pound, I don't know what it is, 500 gram butter or something. It's just outrageous. So that is the, the far cheaper option for using with cooking. And to be honest with you, um, you need to, if you're going to be cooking, you need to use minimal amounts anyway. You don't need huge amounts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I admit, you know, I, I minimized it and it worked. So, yeah. Lasted well over a week. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the colour. Now you might also say, oh, oh, it's, but it's not as yellow as the other stuff. Well, there's a very good reason for that. Um, I'll do some research, but I'm pretty certain. A lot of it is to do uh, with the, the cows, the dairy cows being grass fed. Um, that has something to do with it. But I'm, I have been told that um, the butter manufacturers do actually put um, stuff in it that turns it a little bit more yellow than what you just saw then. 
<clears throat> so there you go, butter, here on the Highway Chef.